Access to primary health care would be one of the key issues on the Bonavista Peninsula. I think up until a couple of years ago when this primary health initiative began, we had a challenged, uh, I think, reputation in health care specifically. Uh, we had significant uh, resignations or loss in key staff members within Eastern Health. Uh, wait times were very high. Continuity of care uh, wasn't, wasn't the best. And that didn't help us at all when it came to really developing the region. We're really interested in redesigning the system so that it's more focused on the patient and helping that patient to uh, stay healthy and to manage any illness that they may have. And also working with our partners, certainly our family physicians and our other providers to enable more of a shared care approach so that we're able to um, uh, work collaboratively now. We want an effective health service run here but also fiscally responsible so we wanted to streamline services while improving services and we've been able to do that. We were exploring uh, methods of uh, a collaborative team-based approach to primary health care and very early in the initiative the electronic medical record was identified as a means to support this new model of care. Well, the electronic medical record is an electronic home for all of your health information. Uh, it's a one patient record available to all members of your primary health care team. So it brings much greater satisfaction for our health professionals and our family doctors. They're able to work collaboratively in an interdisciplinary team, sharing the care of that patient and really using technology to support them to provide better care. This is really important in rural areas of Newfoundland, like Bonavista, because it reduces the need for travel for patients, and it also uh, gives them access to the care that they need much closer to home. I think community engagement was critical in this process. When we started off, community representation was actually rather small at the table. I think most Eastern Health partners would acknowledge that as well. And after the first year of not really having a, a tremendous amount of success or momentum, we really did a rejigging to a 50-50 representation of Eastern Health and community regional reps. And from there forward, we felt as community representatives that our voice was really being heard and our opinions were being heard, acknowledged, and really acted on. And having the community active participants and being really engaged in this process has uh, proven a key to success. Um, they let us know what their needs are and we work with them to address those health care needs. I think it's been very positive so far. There's been a lot of community engagement um, on behalf of the uh, committee reps and feeding information out to the community, newsletters that we've been sending out, funneling out from Eastern Health, and then also funneling some of that information out from local organizations, municipalities. So we've seen a major stabilization in that sector now, and as a result, we're reaping the benefits uh, through the community and throughout the region. They're able to get the right care by the right provider, um, they have a whole team to support them, so we're able to work with them to provide them the tools to stay healthy.